Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Less D experience. No worries. I know a lot of people like, it's not four o'clock. I'd like to come on five minutes early, get the business stuff out the way. First of all, I just wanted to say, go out and check me over on YouTube because a lot of times people have been complaining or not complaining, but texting in saying, you know, I got to sift through all your Facebook stuff to get to this show or that show or that show. No, you don't. If you just go over to YouTube, it's a whole YouTube channel. Nothing extravagant. It's just every last one of the shows I've done thus far and more in one place. So you can binge on them or pick which one you like or which one you were told to look at, whatever. They're all right there. So you have to go through all that Facebook stuff on my timeline to find it. Also, I am super, super, super duper excited because now I am a what? Ah, published illustrator. Yes, and I don't know what's wrong with this light. I look like a ghost. Uh, let me, oh, let me address that. To those of you, let's see, can I get it done? Who have been saying or hearing or contacting me and telling me that people saying you bleaching your skin less. Let me check you. See, I'm the same color. Oh, get this light. Same color. It's the light. Get out of here. Oh, I like that look. Ooh, should I keep it dark? Hey, hey, Jan Trees. Hey, Susie. Hey, Otis. How you guys doing? Oh, let me turn this light back on. Really? <laughs> so anyway, it is called Introspections into Life and Love. It's a book of very intimate poetry. Yes, by Mr. Otis Lipscomb. Is Otis on here? Yep, Otis is watching. Congratulations, Otis, on the book, dude. Very, very good job. And he gave me the honor and being his illustrator, he's seen a couple of things I've done like on Facebook or whatever, or whatever he saw or whatever. But um, I was actually in the hospital when um, he contacted me and I was too busy ailing <laughs> to do it. So I thought he was just going to pass it all on to somebody else. But he waited. He waited till I got home. And so I just drew a couple of things. And there we go on the back. Can you see that? Oh no, it's a black and white picture of me, but it's a colored picture of him. Yeah, so I'm so excited. And what we're doing now is we're planning the book signing. There's going to be a book signing. He's from Las Vegas. And of course, I'm over here in Virginia. So what he's going to do is fly over from Vegas and we're going to do a book signing slash life and love concert. Every ballot consider, you know, about love and conflict and things like that, old school stuff. We got a couple of new school stuff going on, but it's gonna be people slanking. Yes, and then at the end, he's gonna do the book signing. Then we're gonna have a Q and A if you guys wanna ask him any questions and take pictures and things like that. So we got a lot of stuff planned. And that is not even the best part of it. Can't tell you the best part of it. You gotta show up, buy a book and get you a free this and a free that and a free this. So enough of that, that is out of the way. Uh, so again, I'm so excited and thank you. Uh, his pseudonym is Sammy J. One word, because if you do two words, some other girl comes up. But it's Sammy J. So it's Introspections into Life and Love uh, by Sammy J, aka Otis Lipscomb from Las Vegas. He's a public. He's been a published author for a while, but he allowed me to illustrate this book. And so he's a published author already, but I am now a published illustrator. So I am just so uber duper excited. So the business stuff is out of the way. Now, we have a very serious situation we need to talk about. And I've already had people, um, oh, Otis, excuse me, Otis is correcting me. The life the life and love book signing event slash concert oh, whatever hey patricia how you doing who am i missing i didn't speak to everybody carol and jantrice and susie okay how are you guys doing all right we're gonna jump back into what i gotta do because i got places to go now um i'm back in the studio um shout out to mr chaotic beats yes there's only one chaotic beats and um, he approached me and I have the pleasure of doing his scratch vocals and all his studio work for him. He is a phenomenal, phenomenal um, national uh, 
music producer, songwriter, rapper, and everything else. But he's calling me in. Uh, actually, I, hopefully, if I get enough sleep and get it together, I'll be there with him tomorrow, starting our little surprise that we're doing. So I'm back in the studio as well. Kind of like out of my element, but I learned fast. Yes. So a lot of stuff is going on. That's why I had to push push and push the uh this show the lesty experience live interactive talk show uh to thursdays only once a week now guys i'm trying to still keep it going with everything that's falling in my lap i'm so grateful don't get me wrong i ain't complaining i'm grateful but just giving you guys some insight of what's going on now today's topic ladies my wonderful ladies do you choose your man or your children? Now, the knee-jerk reaction and response to that is, I'm choosing my kids. I already had Susie get me straight. She says she had two girls. She ain't had no man, so she's choosing her children. Let me put my feet up. I'm still healing. Oops, sorry, y'all. I'm still healing from my leg, so I'm putting my feet up right now. But, um, yeah, so <laughs> thank you, Jan Trees. Hi, Jerry. How you doing? So now let me explain myself. I think uh, I think it was about yesterday, two days ago, I think. And like I said, I get a lot of people um, sending me stuff um, in my through my Instagram or <clears throat> through Messenger or Facebook. Some people text me. Some people actually call me. Right? Uh, they get my number. I need to check that out. People get my new number from Google somewhere. But anyway, this gentleman called me from Texas two days ago. And he was talking about this, talking about the hat core and how you doing. And basically he, I said, you know, where are you from, sir? Cause he was talking about music and stuff like that. And wanted me to listen to some of his stuff. He said, well, right now I'm in Texas. Um, but I live in Florida. I said, okay, so you're doing some business over in Texas and what you got going on? Cause I'm thinking he's making some beats, hey Tim, and things like that. He's like, no, I got some um, personal business to take care of. I'm here with my ex-wife. She's letting me, you know, crash here to take care of some business. I'm like, you there with your ex-wife? Y'all get along? He's like, oh yeah, we're best of friends. You know, he loves her. She loves him. I was like, well, why are y'all divorced? <laughs> and he said, because of her children, mainly her girl. And I was like, what? And after he explained to me what was going on, I had to bring it to you, beloved. Like I said, we all up here trying to get therapy and work it all out and talk it all out for free. <laughs> Cause I don't have all the answers, but I know for a fact, me myself in the past had had to face a certain situation. And I know you, some of you guys are currently facing a situation. Now I'm not talking about, you know, cause you know, Susie said, you know, those, are, I had them, they're my children, men come and go, I'm choosing my kids. But let me tell you something. What if the situation is your child, be it two, three years old, all the way up to high school, and he's dealing, he dealt with it. If I'm saying, I hope I say it correctly, I'm not gonna say who he is. You know, I don't, if he wants to say who he is, he can say who he is. But from middle elementary, late elementary to now, and the girl's 30, she's been giving that man H E bleep bleep. And the wife, tends to coddle the girl, let the girl do what she wants, all the other children do what they want, and she ignored her husband, didn't let him properly chastise them or do what a man needs to do. Or Mind you, it wasn't nothing crazy like abuse. I ain't talking about somebody abusive, crazy, acting dumb, no. I'm talking about a man who's just trying to be a man, trying to be a father, trying to be a husband, and those children do not belong to him, but yet he's playing daddy, working, feeding them, putting the roof over the head and clothing them. <clears throat> You're not gonna make your children be respectful? You know, and it got so bad that they end up getting a divorce, not because they don't love each other, they still love each other, but she won't, get a handle on that girl of hers. And now the girl is 30 with a couple of kids or whatever, and she still calls her mama. The girl could be five blocks away. I was told, I think he said five blocks away on the bus line. And 
because she's like she is and his wife allowed her to be like she is, she will call her mother. The mother could be at work, could be cooking, could be doing anything. And the mother drops everything, go get that 30 year old and bring her home when there's a, a bus there. And as long as she got the kids with her or anything. Hey James, how you doing? So in a situation like that now, especially African-American people, families, we have a lot of blended families. You know, there's a high percentage of men who date women with children end up marrying them or be in a long-term Commonwealth situation with children that's not his. Now, you guys, come on now, ladies. I, I want you guys to start talking to me, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. But that's why I say, do you choose your man, your husband, be it fiance, long term term boyfriend, over that spoiled, rotten, disrespectful kid? Now, I know I'm going to be late and cussed out five ways to Sunday, but how I feel is just how I feel. Nobody's saying anything right now, but I feel like this. If you know your kid bad, <laughs> You handle that. You do something with it. If you don't want the man to spank it or uh, punish it or why am I calling it it or the kid, whatever, you, you, you do that, especially if a child is middle school to high school, college age and 30. Come on, you somebody, there needs to be a family meeting. First of all, before the family meeting, we as females, I feel, need to sit the children down and go, okay, what's the problem? Okay, did did Philip hit you? Is he abusing you? Is he doing something to you behind my back? And um, what is your issue? Why do you have a hard time being obedient, being respectful? You know, what is your problem? Sit down and talk to your children first, because I'm a firm believer in finding out what's wrong, what's going on. Okay, because if it's something that Philip or the dad, I'm just using Philip, <laughs> I don't know, or whoever has done. That needs to be addressed in a, another way, depending on what it is. But if it's nothing that the man done is a kid, just like that ain't my daddy. My daddy named Bob. Okay, what Bob at? Bob left you. I used to tell the kids that. But I'm just saying, Bob left you. He hasn't paid child support. They're still hunting him down. This dude is feeding you, clothing you, going to your football game, going to band camp, dropping you off, cleaning up your vomit, doing this and this and that babysitting you when I'm going to have to work late. Why is it difficult for women to handle that? You see what I'm saying? Hey, Jack, how you doing? Hey, Tamika. Susie is saying, oh, we need to sit down and talk. Then 30 is different than 10. <laughs> well, yeah, because Susie saying, uh, because I didn't give nobody the story in the little uh, promo to this. I just said, do you choose your man or your children? And I said, Susie said children. So Susie was saying, you know, I didn't know she was 30 <laughs> or 10. But Susie, even if a child is 10, a 10-year-old is very aware, especially these days. A 10-year-old in the 50s is not like the 10-year-olds now. Trust me. And they are very aware of what they do. They're very manipulative, conniving, and they like to play one parent against the other. Yes, they do. Trust me, I know. Hey, Shanique, how you doing? You know, so... In a situation, that's just one, we're going to cover a lot of them, but in a situation like that, if that man tells you, look, I can't take the disrespect no more, you know, the rolling of the eyes, the snatching away and, you know, all in my things, in my drawer, you know, all in my car, invading my space, just an unruly kid, I do it the bleep I want to do child. If a man tells you, like, look, I can't get a handle on Shaquiqua. <laughs> Oh, no, or Arion, you know, so you're going to have to choose because I can't take this no more. You don't want me to hit the child. You don't want me to say nothing to the child. You don't want to tell the child to stop doing what it's doing. I am miserable. I got to go. It is me or that kid. That sounds really harsh. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that sounds really harsh. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure most men don't mean throw a child out in the street. I really think that, or feel that they mean you handle this situation, we nip this in the bud, or I'm out of here. 
I, I can't do it. I can't do this disrespect. I work 40 hours a week, not including overtime, to put a roof over everybody's head, to feed everybody, school shopping, holidays, stuff at school. I give you I, I bring my money home, you know? And you cannot get that child to be respectful. Hey, I know I'm not their daddy. I'm sorry, their father. I know I'm not their sperm donor, farmer, father. <laughs> But I'm doing daddy duties. And I really think, God, that's nothing but fair for him to sit his wife down and go, look, Beulah, or whatever. <laughs> we have a problem here. It's been years now, and you've consistently, consistently let the child or the children disrespect me. It's just chaos in this house. I cannot take any more you need to do something or I'm out of here. Now y'all talk to me, everybody quiet. You know, uh, talk to me about that. Do you choose your man or do you choose your child? Do you choose to sit down and tell that child, look, you ain't got no job. And sometimes the woman ain't working. I ain't working. <laughs> this man is taking care of this household. He's been nothing but nice to you. He's giving you everything you wanted. What is your problem? If you don't fix your neck, if you don't fix your eyes, if you don't fix your mouth, I'm going to fix it for you. That's what a female needs to say, especially if the man is doing right. Again, I'm not talking about no crazy joke. I ain't talking about no clown. But, uh, you know, Susie is saying when a man steps up to play the father role, he deserves respect. No doubt. No doubt. And some, some men marry women with... Two kids, three kids, five kids, six kids. You know, the people who made them <clears throat> walked away. He is choosing to take care of the kitten and the cats. You see what I'm saying? And so I think it's a travesty if there is a woman out there who is allowing her children to run amok and just, they they not they just not running the man, they running her and things like that. Come on, come on, that's not right. And then if you end up cheating or going to um Juju House, I don't know, and whatever else, you know, why are you cheating on me? Why this and why that? Why this and why that? You come on, let's see what Valerie's saying. Valerie is saying it's a change of times. And I think women lost the values of unified family, whether he, the daddy, or not. If you brought him into the household, respect should be mandatory and required. Required, yes, I totally agree. I totally agree. Now I know a lot of women have been giving me slack off camera. You know, you always seem like you're always for the men or you're always on the men's side, you know, and I make the joke like, I'm not the man whisperer. I mean, I can't help who calls, who texts me, who wants to know this, or who want me to do this subject or whatever else. For some reason, Men feel comfortable, you know, on this show being transparent or they'll come on here looking for answers because a lot of time our men don't have an outlet, you know, to express their feelings or get some answers and things like that. So if I have to be the so-called man whisperer, I, it's kind of weird, but that's fine. They need a forum. They get bashed and ridiculed and murdered and whatever else. Society, media, stereotypes, the world do our men any kind of way. But we, the women, can be buffers for that. You see what I'm saying? When a man work hard all day long and he walks across that threshold, he needs to be walking in a house of peace. Not no children running around and no snotty food ain't cooked. I'm not saying if both of you guys working, whoever get home first should start the dinner or buy something and have it brought home with you. I'm not talking about that, but if you're a woman at home and he didn't work eight, 10, sometimes 12 hours on the weekend or whatever, he should smell onions and peppers when he drive up in the neighborhood and he should automatically know, oh, my baby cooking. That's my baby cooking right there. You know, a man should want to come home, not go to the bar <laughs> and drink till he can't drink no more because he don't want to come home to you and them bad old kids and them disrespectful turn, things like that. 
<laughs> I'm not bashing our kids, y'all. I'm just being honest and blunt. Uh, Valerie is also saying kids got, oh, kids got by with the having an opinion about what they shouldn't have. What I feel about that, I'm not going to say on live. But opinion who? Opinion what? Will you work? Get out of here. <laughs> who? Yeah. <laughs> and Susie says she's agree. Hey, Brandon, how you doing? Um, yeah, I, I just think it's a travesty. If you're going to bring, if you are in love with someone to the point that, hey, I'm going to, first of all, let him meet my children. Now, after the first, second, or third date, I don't think you should be letting everybody meet your kids. No, because you don't know if he's going to be around. You don't know what type of person he is. You don't know if he's a Chester <laughs> or things like that. Don't be having everybody meeting up on your kids. You know, I'm not going to give a time when it's appropriate. Only you know your children, yourself, and the dude. You know, there's no set time, but uh, don't be having everybody around your kids. But if you get to the point where you like, okay, it's been appropriate. It's a good enough time. He's a good guy. I'm going to introduce him to my children and things like that. Now let me let and marry him and bring him in the house. But let me let me just get on something. You know, there's this individual, well I'm not getting to all that. But if you are grown children, if you are grown child and your mom wants to have some companionship, someone that they want to love, and your mama want to get held at night too. Get out of here. How do you think you got here? Not by osmosis. They got needs too. I think it's very wrong. You bouncing on and doing on and licking on everything you want and feel like. But mama wants to get a friend and wants to start dating and, and, and get a fiance and get married. And you won't talk to the guy, being disrespectful, won't get on the phone to say hi, rolling your eyes, all kinds. Come on, y'all. Cut that mess out. Are you serious right now? Get out of here. You know, ain't none of y'all living a monk or nun life, but you want mama to bake biscuits and rock back and forth. I mean, get out of here, man. How you think you got here? Y'all old kids need to cut that mess out too. Get out of here. And see, the thing about children, you know, because Susan made the statement, men come and go, which is true. But children grow and go. They will grow up and leave you lonely and raising cats in a minute and have some people forget Mother's Day or they forget your birthday or they don't come by because they get caught up in their lives. They're doing them. They're building their own little families. Hey, I get it. But then, you know, what you do? You didn't, you let the kids run off every man that was ever interested in you when you was popping, when you was hot <laughs> or whatever else. Now you're alone. They gone. And you're feeding cats. That's not right, man. Get out of here. You know, and everybody have their opinions. I'm about to read their opinions. Jack is saying, if a mother has grown children at home and they don't work and provide income to the home, I'm not going to put up with disrespectful behavior. And she doesn't say anything. I am gone. <laughs> Can't blame him. Can't blame him. Shanika saying, Les, can you do a show about a lady who is dating a man who has several baby mamas and has no contact with his children? <clears throat> Yes, baby. Please remind me. Uh, put that in my color thing. Private messenger inbox. So I won't forget it. Because child, I got so much going on. I'm getting old. I'll forget. But yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sue said, my birthday is Monday. Happy birthday. Early birthday, Sue. And Valerie said, Les, are you referring to marriage or just a live-in? I'm referring to marriage, Valerie. A husband a husband, but we have to be realistic. Some people got a fiance, people be engaged for years. <laughs> Some people got like a three year fiance or a five year fiance and things like that. And some of these boyfriends be in there for decades or whatever else. And that's a touching subject in itself. But especially if you are married, you know, some of these men adopt, men adopt your bad kids and give them their name and, and you still won't, reel those jokers in that ain't right y'all um and shanique um for um what you say about the baby's mama you know i feel like and i'm gonna have to be blunt more blunt than i am told i should be but i feel like that I, i'm not gonna say sorry should i say sorry it is a i'm just gonna say it it's a sorry woman 
who is dealing with a man and she finds out he has children and don't make him pay his child support. Now, I can't, I didn't say go make him go see them, pick them up and whatever else, because we don't know what situations are like. It could be a volatile situation. He could have a straining order. She could have a straining order. We don't know about all of that. But you could at least, if you're going to be dealing with Leslie or anybody else with some common sense, I'm going to make sure your child support come out your check before you even see it. Yes. Because how would I look like letting you take care of my children and you got one, two, three, or 20 somewhere else that you don't even know their shoe size? What kind of woman I am? That ain't cute. That is not cute. That doesn't make you a better woman. Oh, you did it right. And, and you knew what he needed. You knew how to really, really blah, blah, blah. So that's why he's taking care of my kids. He's not taking care of your kids. Leave the kids out of it. Whatever beef is going on between the adults, leave the children out of it. I don't care if she's the baby mama from H-E-L-L. -L. You make sure if you're going to marry that man, if you're dating that man, if you're engaged to that man, even when you meet the man, he tell you got kids, your next question should be, you pay child support? Or do you pick them up? Are you in their lives? And if they say no to any of that, you should be getting your dog your bag because take the food with you. <laughs> Taking your purse and getting out of there. Because that, that gives you a peep into a man's character. So I would say again with confidence, and I stand on that. I'm used to getting cussed out. You know. I get cussed out by the best. I stand on that. That's a sorry woman who will not let her lover, fiance, husband, man, or whatever, whoever she's dealing with, make him take care of his child if he's not already doing it. No, that don't make you cute. Get out of here. Keep the children out of it. If he laid down and made those children, it is his responsibility to provide for that child. And if he's not paying child support, you make sure, especially if the kids in the same city, same state, sometimes next door, <laughs> Woo, that's another topic. Especially the children is in reach in a very short distance. You yourself should go, hey, Bubba, we're going we're gonna to get Tariq and, and Tarika and whatever to this act today. Uh, Y'all going on the family um, trip. We're going to go get the kids so they can come with us so they can meet my kids and this and this and that. That's a real woman. Anything could be a female. Anything could be a female. But what makes a woman is when you do things like that. You, I mean, you make sure that man is taking care of his children somehow, picking up. And then if there is a man that's taking care of his children and he wants to bring his kids over to your house, so help me God. Y'all better not be treating them kids bad because you don't like their mama or you insecure in your relationship or you think he's still hitting their mama. Them kids ain't got nothing to do with adults. Again, keep the kids out of it. That man bring his kids over to your house you feed them what they feed what you feed yours if they spend the night they get clean sheets and they get a bed too not a floor you make them feel loved because there's no way you can properly love a man and not love his babies you want him to love you and love your babies man this see i, I need more than 30 minutes um, let me see what y'all saying over here because no just no y'all stop that and if you're doing it so good in the sheets and blah, 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 what you insecure about? Get out of here. She knew him before you knew him. Don't be treating them babies any kind of way because you're insecure or you don't like their mama or whatever else. You're liking their daddy real good. So you should like them and treat them like they're supposed to. And if they're on hard times or they're not as blessed and fortunate as you and your husband or the union you have in your household, it's not going to kill you to buy them kids a book bag. It's not going to kill them, but buy them something for school or Christmas and things like that. Keep the children out the drama and the foolishness. They don't know what's going on. Polar the babies. I'm sorry. Y'all, I don't usually get... Mm. Yes, yeah, Susie. Susie said she told me it needed to be an hour. But I go somewhere on Thursdays. I'm going to try to squeeze it past 30 minutes, though, Susie. Um, but I'm going. I'm running the streets. I'm here and there. And I didn't want to be doing this in the car and this will be in the law of the land and things like that. Um, so I'm, I'm sorry, did I skip anybody? Okay, I'm, I think I'm caught up with the comments or whatever else. Um, but I, I really think, ladies, Shanique got me all off and fired up. <laughs> but um, I couldn't wait for a show topic for that, Shanique, because that needed to be said or discussed, you know, about people's children. Once again, let me recap real quickly. If you're dating a man with children, a real woman would make him pay child support, 
Let it come out as check before you even see it. Make sure they got um, health insurance. Yes, okay? Hey, Nadine, make sure those kids have shoes on their feet and, and things like that. And if you that, if, and if the baby mama is that much of a monster, which whatever, that's all about perspective. You buy them clothes and let them have uh, ample enough clothes at your house and have them have their own little dresser. Yes, and their little favorite stuff in the pantry along with your kids. That's what a real woman would do. Yes. Don't get all flattered because he's taking care of your children and he ain't taking care of hers. No, he's still sorry if that's happening. And you need to correct that because you still ain't dealing with a man if that's going on. I'm just saying. And I'm not telling y'all something that I did not do. Years ago, I told whoever, I said, look, um, why don't we go pick up your kid from South Carolina and take all the kids down there. I want the mom to meet the kids. And her husband, because she had remarried again, or whatever, everybody was married at that time. I don't know, about 10 years ago and things like that. And let's field trip, family field trip. Go down there, get your son, let him come up here and spend the summer with us um, so he can get to know me, the kids, so he can know that you know he's loved and things like that. And also, I want his mother to find out what type of person I am, what type of family environment I am. And so she can sit down and talk to me or see, you know, whatever else. So she can see me interact with her child. Cause I would not I wouldn't want to send somebody, my child with somebody that's acting real stank and stupid. And I think they're going to hurt them, you know, uh, talk to the husband, blah, blah, blah. But you know, it got real ignorant. You know, she didn't want me doing it and whatever else, but that's her problem. That was her issue. I talked to her on the phone. She was fine when she was talking to me, but she talked to, him and the family, let's say this, let's say that, let's did that. But I knew I didn't, and she knew I didn't do any of that. She had a problem with me. I ain't no problems no more. I, don't, I could care less about whatever, you know. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what we're saying, Valerie got, Valerie got off for a moment. Shanique wanted me to do a topic about, um, what was it? <laughs> oh, men. Shanique, remind me. Let me go back up here. See, Shanique, see how you do me? Les, can you do a show about lady, a lady who is dating a man who has several baby mamas and has no contact with his children? And so I was addressing how I felt about that, Valerie. I was saying it's a, um, if you are a woman dating a man with children, you should make him, no, you can't make a man do nothing. I'm sorry, man. Can about you should talk to him and stress very strongly and let him know there will be consequences if he don't, <laughs> that um, he should be paying child support or if the child is in a, 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 a close proximity of you guys, picking the child up, being active in the child's lives. And I say it's a sorry woman who promotes a man not taking care of his children, but wants him to take care of hers. That's not cute. That's not cute at all. Okay. Jackie is saying, we are looking for grown-up relationships, not fairy tale stories. Um, and that's it. You know, we need to get our heads out of the books and things like that, or Kindle, whatever y'all do these days, and realize that being in a relationship, being in a blended family, it's hard work. You have to have tenacity. You have to have <laughs> long suffering and patience and uh, maturity and wisdom and how to deal with these situations. So, you know, it, it depends on every situation um, is different. So it depends on your situation whether or not you choose to get rid of your husband or straighten out your kids. Now, if a man is telling you and he's doing right about you and he's telling you, look, I can't take this mess anymore. You know, they tearing up my stuff, scarring up my car, you know, stealing my money in my wallet, cussing me out, telling me if I tell them to get the bike out the driveway, they turn around, you ain't my daddy, and blah, blah, blah. The stuff that some of these people been telling me, I was like, you guys to be joking. That, that, I'm like, what the mama say? Nothing. The mama just tell me, just, just, that's just how she is, or that's just how he is. That's not right. And I'm sorry that they got a divorce because of that. This is just one of the stories. So many people have told me so many things. But you have to choose between your marriage, that man, or your bad children, because children will grow and go. They'll act like you don't even exist. Not that they don't love you. Children are self-concerned. And when they grow up, they're dealing with their own stuff. 
you know, college or marriage themselves or buying a house, their own kids. They got their own lives going on. So it's not that they neglect mom on purpose, but they just go on. That was the purpose of their existence. We birth them, we nurture them, we pour into them, they grow and they go. So if you choose your children over a good man, you need to be by yourself. Because all you had to do was say, look, stop being disrespectful to Bob. You got one more time to suck your teeth when he tell you to wash them dishes when you saw that the dishes need to be washed. That's how she should handle it. If she don't want him chastising and or spanking or handling it or whatever else, she need to buckle down and handle those children. Hey, Tasha, how you doing? Let me see what you guys, I'm on a rant today. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to see what y'all, <laughs> let me see what y'all said over here. I do apologize. Jack Bay said, I had five children under the age of 18, worked two and three jobs. I may not always had time to see them, but I promised and I provided. And that's all you could do. You provided. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Um, Susie is saying, my second hubby took care of mine, but I made D sure he took care of his two others, not just child support, but other things they needed. I applaud you, Susie. Yes. Yes, and that's what a real woman does. Everybody try to act like their hot pocket hoo-ha is the magic box, and you can do it better than she can, and he don't want blah, blah, blah. That stuff, come on, guy. A box is a box. A hot pocket is a hot pocket. You know what I mean? A hoo-ha is a hoo-ha. And there ain't nothing special about them. They all basically look the same, I guess. You know, so it's not like you're so special, okay? It's how you treat him and how you treat his children. So it's up to you. You will be by yourself if you don't get a hold on those unruly, disrespectful kids. Now somebody sent me something on Facebook and it was this young lady, she looked like a boy, but it was a, lady, a girl, I think, in a classroom. And she just hauled off and punched the teacher in the face and told her, don't be talking, um, don't be talking about you know disrespecting me or something stupid and crazy. And the teacher was holding her face, going, "I didn't say anything about you. Very meek and humble." I was heated. I was heated. And the first thought that came to my head was, like, "What type of mama she got?" Because any of mine would have done that. I don't care what what court systems say, justice say, or whatever else. I carried you jokers. I got five Caesarean scars to getting you jokers here, and ain't nobody gonna tell me how to discipline you. Now, if one of mine act crazy in school, I take them back to school, and I act crazy in front of the same people they acted crazy in front of. No, because if you don't teach them and you don't beat them, these cops out here and everything that's going on, especially now, is gonna beat them, shoot them, hide them, dismember them, sell an organ, whatever they're doing out here they're going to do it. So we need to, you know, you know, get some reins on this disrespect that's in, in this generation. You know, I'm going to stop hollering. I'm hollering. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm hollering. I'm, I'm hollering. I do apologize for not being professional. Sorry for hollering. <laughs> Woo! Get, get some work with the churn. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. Valerie is saying, I'm sorry, guys. I get too hyped. That's why certain um, topics I don't discuss because I need to work on my. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Valerie is saying, Kids are only going to do and say what they have been permitted to, to get away with. And that's so true. She's talking about in their home. Ain't no one child walking around mouthy, nothing freely. And not one child walking around mouthy, nothing freely. They would be teethless and tails tore up. <laughs> See? They're hype too. And I can't stand seeing this generation and how they treat adults. But ain't no child in my house going to feel comfortable dishing disrespect. Yes, sir. Yes. And Susan, so that teacher just come back from having surgery. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. Evidently, Susie know the story I'm talking about. And she said that uh, the teacher that the child punched in the face had just came back from having surgery. Kids act like they fully formed instead of loving you. 
the parent who looked out for them. Well, they 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 can feel all they want to, but anything that came out of Leslie, gonna act like they got them some sense. I don't care how big their parts get, how old they get, and how gray their hair get. I'm still mama. I'm still the same amount of years older than you now when I was when I birthed you. Don't try it. I will not even see my adult child disrespecting somebody. Just just blatant disrespect. Like, are you are you serious? You won't raise that way. How you act is a reflection of me. And you ain't gonna be out here making me look crazy. So I'm gonna straighten you right now. I don't care how many babies you have. I don't care what you got going on. I don't care if you're the next governor. No, no, I'm sorry. No. Hey, Jenny and Sanaida. So basically, guys, I am running really late, but you need to think twice. If there's some conflict between your man, your husband, fiance, potential boyfriend, I don't know. I don't know. Whoever's living in your house and taking care of things. If there's some conflict between your man and your children, make sure that they're not. And sometimes you have to be careful now. Sometimes there's reason. If that's out of the child's character and one incident happens or several little instances happen, you need to find out what's wrong with that child. Sit them down and go, baby, what's wrong? No matter what you tell me, I will be okay and you will be okay and I will believe you and I will go to bat for you. But you need to tell me what's wrong, honey. Is there a certain reason why you're acting up in school? Is there a certain reason why you're disrespecting Timothy and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Now, if they say something's going on with them crazy, you handle that. But they say something, he just ain't my daddy. I'm not gonna tell you to knock your child out. They can't say that on, can you say that on here? But anyway, if it's just that they smelling themselves, as the old folks used to say, <laughs> you handle that or you're gonna lose your man. And I think he has every right to say, look, baby, you need to get her un under control. You need to get her un him under control. And another type of thing that people do and, and men are not their dads, these girls like to walk around half naked. If you have a man in your house, even if it's their real father, that's how I am. But if there's a man in your house, your husband, your teenage daughter should not be walking out in her panty or her thongs and a white beater. Come on. Y'all should, you know, there, there should be a level of respect there. Simple as that. And you be the first one to, oh, he touched my baby and nothing like that. And the man could be innocent. You know, that's another thing for these little hot girls who smell themselves or reaching puberty or whatever they doing, make sure she's covered in that house at all times. You ain't got to pee that bad. You can't uh, put some pajama pants on or a robe on and run to the bathroom. Come on, ladies. We know. We know the difference between, oops, I was just, you know, had to pee or I'm trying to be hot. That's another disrespect. So if your man come tell you, hey, baby, Shaquiqua, keep coming out there without her clothes on, without this or that, or sitting with her legs open or sitting a certain way watching TV, I'm, I'm very uncomfortable, honey. You need to check her with that. Don't be going, why are you looking? You must want her. Why are you thinking like that? Oh, don't do that. You go check your child. Go check her. Go check her. Okay? That's a whole nother sort of subject and story. But there's several ways that your husband or your man or whoever's living in your house taking care of you and your children can be disrespected. You understand? It's time for me to go. But, um, okay, what is going on now? Oh. Romeo is saying, and and I and that's I think he's right too. Romeo is saying social media made kids what they are now. I I have sorry, y'all. I, I agree. I agree with them. You know, that internet is something. You know, I punched in the wrong thing, and the stuff that came up made my toes curl, and I'm almost 50. <laughs> so you need to be mindful and conscious of what your children is watching and doing on these computers and things like that. And Jack is saying, hey champ, how you doing, baby? Um, Jack is saying maybe men should back up. You can't afford the aggressive behavior and the storms of resentful children. I don't agree with that, Jack. Why, why he got to back up? You know, he paying them bills, especially men who have been in warehouses or construction jobs and things like that, back breaking work. Why he got to back up? She should take care of them kids. He don't, she don't want him to beat them or chastise them or whatever else. She needs to do it. And then 
she don't do it, he got to go. He got to back up then, you know, but she needs to handle that. I got to go, guys. I'm supposed to be on the road before 5, and it's 440. <laughs> but um, just keep the comments going uh, in the comment section over there, and I'm about to hit the road. But ladies, think about it. Do you choose your man or your disrespectful, honorary, school brat kids? That's the question for the day. All right. So, guys, keep it going. Um, hmm, we all need therapy. You know, thank you for being with me on the Less D experience. You guys have been phenomenal. Awesome. Thank you. I will let you know when the book signing slash concert is going to be. I'm going to let you know when we start auditioning for the play, the hips, the stage play. I'm going to let you know when we start um, auditioning for hips, the movie, for extras and people in restaurants and people in nightclubs and things like that. Even if you don't know how to act, you just want to be in a movie and things like that. We need extras, you know, so I'm going to let you guys know when all of that is going on. All right. And I want you to support Chaotic Beats. Um, on Instagram and, and Facebook and things like that. It's Brandon, Chaotix Beats. Is it Washington? He gonna kill me. But anyway, so I hopefully I'll be with Brandon on tomorrow, knocking it out in the studio and things like that. So just support one another. We all each other got. You know, it takes a village. I didn't come on here to offend anyone. I love you all. But shoe fit, wear it, break it in, do something about it. All right? Keep the conversation going. Uh, let's talk. Thank you, guys. I'll talk to you later. It's been interesting. <laughs>